Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. This video is a part of a list. You will find the link on the description below. We already saw how to make an ASP32 run as web server. Today we will make two board communicate together. This is called a client server communication. The server with the IP address uh, 10 is listening for any HTTP request. The client with a dynamic IP address will send every 5 seconds a HTTP request with some information. As a test, I will send the text data1, data2 and data3. Let's start by programming the client who will send the request. First, let's go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to Tunyot for ESP32. We already saw how to connect to a network, so I will use a template of a client in an encrypted network. If you have an open network, choose the option 3. Don't forget to change the name of the network and the password. And delete the static IP block. We want a dynamic IP address. Before sending a request, we should connect to the server with this block. It will return true if the board is connected. I will keep the IP address and the port. The plot send the request will send the HTTP request to a specific address. Here I will change only the message to be sent. After 5 seconds I will send uh, two other messages. Here we are. You can now upload your code into the first ESP32 board. We already saw how to do that. Now we will program the server part. I will use a template server in an encrypted network. Change the name of the network and the password. Don't delete the block of the static IP. I will keep uh, that address. The server is waiting for any request. When it will receive one, the request text will be set into the client request variable. I will display the content of the variable on the serial monitor to see how it looks like. Now I can upload uh, uh, the program into the second board and open uh, the serial monitor. The other board is already plugged uh, to a power bank and sending every 5 seconds a message. You can see into uh, this weird message the word data1, data2 and uh, data3. Fortunately, I have a block in the string category that will delete uh, all the non-useful part of the request. This block will keep only uh, the important message. To see the difference, I will display here the message before being cleared and after. I will also display the IP of the client sending the message.
here we are I can now upload the, the program into the second board you can see here the IP address of the client the HTTP request before and after using a clear block with the cleared message it will be easy to light up an LED or do whatever you want I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.